Terry Ashcraft. I'm 36 years old. I've just flown out from South Texas to New York to see about getting my feet fixed. I love skateboarding. I've skateboarded almost all my life. I have a son. I want to be able to teach my son how to surf and how to skateboard, and I can't right now because my feet hurt. When I look down at my feet, I just I see nothing but a lot of trouble. Right now, my foot is really tight in the middle, and it feels like I got a fist in the middle of my foot right now. These knots are lit up like they're on fire right now. They grow along the ligament uh, all the way from my toe down the arch of my foot. And then they stop somewhere in here. When I touch these knots, it feels literally like I'm stabbing it with a red hot poker. If you've ever had a thorn broken off in your toe and every time you step, it feels a lot like that, but worse. I'm willing to take a, a risk at anything to get my feet fixed. I'm here to meet with Dr. Brad, and I, I hope he can fix my feet, because I can't live like this anymore. Uh, Terry has like five or six like masses on the bottom of his feet. And I've seen stuff like this before. These masses could be a few different things, right? It could be a tumor, it could be plantar fibromas, it could be little fluid-filled cysts. These masses are embedded in his plantar fascia. And if I'm doing surgery on his foot and I cut the plantar fascia too much, his foot won't work anymore. That's the biggest challenge. Welcome. You can come in, have a seat, and he'll be right with you, okay? Right, thanks. Thank you. There's so much riding on this visit to get my feet fixed with Dr. Brad. It'll be life-changing. It'll definitely move things forward where I want to be. What's up, Terry? Hey, how are you how doing? How are you? Dr. Schaefer. Nice Terry. to meet you. So what's going on, man? I hear you have uh, quite the story with your foot. Got these big knots in the arch of my feet. Okay. And they actually start up by my toe, always causing pain. You look like you're active. You have a skateboard in here. I think this is the first time I've, I've seen someone bring a skateboard in here. <laughs> I was just skating around Central Park. Oh, you were just outside? Yeah. You're doing like some kick flips and some ollies? Some of those. <laughs> that's awesome. I try to stay active. That's, sure. That's what keeps me fit. How long have you been dealing with this? 17 years. 17 years? Man, that's a lot. So if it's cool with you, I'll take your sock and shoe off. Yeah. We'll check it out. We're good. Okay. Let's check your left foot out first. Not horrible. Not horrible. Right. Not, not like my other foot. Let's check that out. So I'm with Terry, I'm taking off his socks and shoes, and the first thing I see is so many masses all over the bottom of his feet. And it looks super painful. Does it hurt when I press on them? Oh yeah. So what you have going on here are plantar fibromas. When this stretches out, you get little tiny balls that knot up, and when those balls form, they cause a lot of pain and pressure. It's a little bit shocking, right? Because <laughs> you're just like, okay, should I just go full steam ahead and just take all these out for you, you know? Um, or should I nice. play it more conservative? Yeah, you want to go full steam ahead, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't wait to, to have these things done. Sure. So what I'd like to do for you is I'd like to take you to surgery. I'd like to address each one of these plantar fibromas individually. Try to remove every single one, but just focusing on one at a time and then move down the ladder all the way to five. I just wanna make sure I dedicate all of my attention and your post-op healing to this one foot. Dude, hopefully I can get all of them knocked out for you. That's my goal, okay? But if it's too much and I, I see that the plantar fascia is hanging by like a, a string or a thread, it's just not safe. If I can't get to five though, it's just because I can't destabilize your plantar fascia. I won't hold it. So those you. are the stakes there, okay, Terry? <laughs> I won't hold it against you. All right, you. cool. I, I promise you I will, do my, I will do my best. How's that sound? Are you ready to do this? Yeah, I'm, All right. I'm excited. The treatment plan for Terry is a plantar fibroma excision times five. We're really just going to focus on his right foot today because there's so many. Today's the day of Terry's surgery. 
The plan is to just focus on his right foot so he can have that other foot for stabilization for his post-operative healing and remove every single fibroma. Slide over. Take your time. So what we have on the bottom of our feet is a plantar fascia, and that attaches our heel to the front of our foot. Three bands. It's your medial, your central, and your lateral band. And they kind of fan out from the bottom of our feet, which attaches to our heel. So in Terry's case, what we're going to be doing is focusing our attention on the medial band. That seems to be where most of the fibromas are. The biggest challenge for today is just removing every single one of Terry's fibromas. And honestly, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that. I definitely hope to achieve that for Terry, but I just want to make sure that he's safe, that plantar fascia stays intact, and I don't destabilize his whole foot. Or he won't be able to walk, he won't be able to do the activities that he loves, and he might be in a wheelchair. Incision. So the first step today is really just carefully dissect layer by layer to where we can get to each fibroma. What do you think? Are they all exposed? Let's number them. Okay, love that. So we got every mass exposed, so it's just cut by numbers at this point. We're gonna start with number one and work our way all the way to five. So basically right now it's you feel exactly where these hard balls are, and then you just go after it. It's like you're shucking an oyster. Nice, <laughs> that's number one. Wow. When you're removing masses, you just wanna make sure you get down to the deepest layer you can get. In a, the case of a plantar fibroma, you really just wanna make sure you get all of those bad fibers out. Oh, wow there is a small chance that these will grow back. I don't think they're going to come back. I'm getting nice and deep, but it's always a possibility. So that's number two. That's great that was swipe. a great swipe. I heard the celery. Yeah. So when you're doing the dissection, especially around fibromas like this, you can almost see that it's encapsulated in like a sack. You can stick your blade right into it and eventually I'm just gonna pare it all out. It's kind of like a little peach pit. And you can see his muscle under there. Oh wow, yeah, it's definitely wow. an A doctor. So we're getting down to one of the bigger plantar fibromas. And while I'm getting the bottom of it around and getting it out, I start to see Terry's muscle belly start poking through the bottom of his foot. So right now I just wanna be careful that I don't nick the muscle belly um, and I just get this fibroma out. One, two, three. On the back. Nice. Number five. So happy for Terry, because we got all five, and I know that's what he really wanted. So after we got each fibroma out, what we did next was we got all of those deep layers closed, plantar fascia back together, and then closed the skin. All right, so looking down here, you can kind of see like where the masses used to be but that's just the skin redundancy. That will all suck down and have a nice, flat, smooth foot. Terry's foot looks absolutely awesome right now. Once he's healed up properly, Terry's gonna be able to get back to the life that he wants. All right, we got all five, yeah. 